Hey, welcome to Electro Online, and now we're going to talk about how to solve problems using compound thin lenses. In other words, bringing two smaller or two thin lenses close together. What we have here is we have two lenses. They're converging lenses. The first one has a focal length of 30 centimeters. The second one has a focal length of 10 centimeters. We place an object, hmm, let's say 50 centimeters in front of the first lens. And the question is, where's the position of the final image. What is the distance to the final image relative to the second lens? How do we do that? Well, we have our basic lens equation right here, thin lens equation, which we can solve for S prime. S prime, of course, is the image distance based upon the object distance and the focal length. And the way this is done with a compound or thin, a compound thin lens problem is that we do it one lens at a time. First, we find the image caused by the first lens, completely ignoring the second lens. And then we use that image as the object to the second lens to find the image of the second lens. So this is how we do that. So first we want to find the position of the image of the first lens. We can do that using some lens, some ray diagrams. So first we come out here to the lens, then it refracts and goes to the focal point on the other side. Then here we have a ray that goes to the focal point on the front side and then that fracts and goes parallel to the optical axis, where the two meet, that will be the image position of the first lens. And using the lens equation, let's find out where that is. So we can say that S1 prime, so that's the image distance for the first lens, is equal to S1 F1 divided by S1 minus F1, which is basically the very same equation except just for the first lens only. And we plug in the numbers that we have. S1 is 50. Everything is in centimeters. F1 would be 30 divided by S1, which is 50, minus 30, which is equal to 1,500 divided by 20, which is 75. And of course, that's in centimeters, because everything was in centimeters, which means the distance from the first lens to the first image is 75 centimeters. So there we go. This is S1 prime. Whoop, S1 prime equals to 75 centimeters and that's the location of the image the first image from the first lens based on the object being 50 centimeters in front of the first lens that now becomes the object to the second lens so now we have a new object which is there we want to find the image caused by the second lens assuming that that's where the object is now where is the object well if this object is 75 centimeters behind the first lens, we have to subtract the distance between the two lenses. And let's say the distance between the lenses is 5 centimeters. So we have to subtract the 5 centimeters from that to find the distance to the second lens. So we can say that S2 is equal to the distance here, which is S1 prime minus the distance between the two lenses. Now also notice that this will give us a distance of 75 centimeters minus 5 centimeters. However, since the object is behind the second lens, that causes that to be a virtual object. And a virtual object has a negative object distance, so we have to place a negative in front of that. So we have to place a negative in front of that. So this becomes negative 70 centimeters, and that will then be the object distance of the second lens. We use that then to find the distance to the second image. We can then say S2 prime is equal to S2 F2 divided by S2 minus F2. So we take the very same equation, but now we apply it to the second lens. The object distance we now found to be a minus 70 centimeters, so it's minus 70 times the focal length of the second lens, which is 10 centimeters, divided by minus 70 minus 10. So this becomes minus 700 divided by minus 80. And now we need a calculator. So 700 divided by 80 equals, and it's 8.75 centimeters. And that is the distance to the second image from the second lens. So that would place the second lens about this far behind. And let's place it right here. So there would be image two. And this distance right here, which is S2 prime, whoop, S2 prime is equal to 8.75 centimeters, which is the location of the final image of this compound thin lens problem. So that's how we do that. So we take it one lens at a time. 
First, we take our object, our first lens, we find our first image. The first image becomes the second object. We find the object distance, which is this distance minus the distance between the two lenses, which is this distance. We just have to put a negative in front of it because it's a virtual object. That becomes the object then of the second lens. We use the negative 70 centimeters as the object distance of the second lens, the focal length of the second lens, to find the location, the image location of the second lens. So now that we know how to do that, we're going to use that now to come up with the general equation for a compound thin lens problem. And we'll do that in the next video. And then we'll use the very same numbers and see if we get the same result using that general equation for a what we call compound thin lens problem.